According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, accidents and injury is the leading cause of death in the United States for individuals between the ages of 1 and 44. Almost 10,000 adolescents die from injuries every year, and over 5 million are treated each year for non-fatal injuries. So what can we do to ensure our personal safety? How can we make our surroundings safer so we can avoid accidents and injuries? This lesson will focus on the strategies we can employ to make our homes and workplaces safer so we can prevent injuries before they happen. Following is a home safety checklist that you can use to make your home more safe to avoid accidents and injuries. With respect to poisons, keep dangerous products locked up so children can't get a hold of them. Keep products in their original labeled containers. This will prevent chemicals from being misused. Use child safe containers. This will help to prevent children from getting into medications or chemicals that could be harmful to them. Put Mr. Yuck stickers on all poisonous products. This will help children to discern the difference between potentially toxic chemicals and edible items. Have a one ounce bottle of syrup of Ipecac available. However, check with your poison control center or a physician before using. To prevent fires and burns, install at least one smoke detector on each floor of your dwelling and change the batteries twice a year. Develop and practice a fire escape plan. Place guards around open heaters and fireplaces. Buy only flame-resistant sleepwear for children. Teach children the meaning of the word hot and the danger of playing with matches. Also, keep matches and lighters out of reach of children. With respect to electrical safety, make sure to put plastic plug covers in unused outlets. Repair any frayed cords and loose plugs. And make sure to keep cords out of reach of children. In order to avoid falls, never leave an infant unattended in a high place. Tack down loose carpeting and remove any objects that people can trip over. Secure doors and gates that lead to stairs. And put locks on windows above the first floor. If you have glass doors in your house, make sure that they have a safety glazing over them. Also, stick decals or colored tape on the glass door at both child and adult eye level. To avoid choking hazards, keep rubber balloons away from children under four years old. Make sure plastic bags, cords, harnesses, and soft pillows are out of reach of children. And finally, pick up small things like beads and buttons from the floor. To protect children, Buy toys that are age-appropriate. Read any safety messages that may be displayed on the toy packaging or on instructions inside the packaging. And pick up toys after play to avoid creating any tripping hazards. When it comes to home playground equipment, make sure gym sets and playground equipment are installed on a soft surface at least six feet from any obstruction. See that equipment is fixed down firmly. Cover any exposed bolts or screws to avoid injuries. Finally, fence your yard and always watch children when they play outside. For bicycle safety, teach children traffic rules. Make sure that bikes are the proper size for the rider. And always wear a bicycle helmet for every ride. For water and bath safety, never swim alone and never leave a child in or near water unattended. Learn to swim and teach children to swim. Take a safe boating class and always wear a life vest on boats. Set home hot water heaters to 130 degrees Fahrenheit or less to avoid scalding water burns. And place non-skid bath mats or adhesive strips on the bottom of the tub or shower to avoid slips or falls. With respect to furniture, make sure to cover sharp edges and corners with soft corner guards. 
Make sure furniture is not covered with lead paint. Make sure cribs and play pens are sturdy and bars are no more than two and three eighths inches apart. Make sure high chairs have restraining straps, good stability, and a securely locking tray. Make sure toy chest lids cannot fall and lock children inside. And finally, make sure heavy furniture is anchored to the wall and cannot tip over. For safety in the kitchen, keep hot foods, liquids, pans, and appliances out of reach of children. Turn the handles of pans on the stove towards the back so children can't grab them. Keep scissors, knives, and other sharp objects out of reach of children. Keep children away from hot ovens and stoves. And if the front of your oven gets hot during use, keep children away. Make sure heavy appliances are well balanced and can't be pulled or tipped over. And remove the doors from any unused refrigerators or freezers so that children can't use them for hiding places. With respect to guns, teach children never to play with a gun they may find at home or at a friend or neighbor's house. Tell them not to touch guns and tell a grown up if they happen to find one. If you happen to keep a gun at home, Always remove ammunition from the gun and lock it away separately from the gun. Keep ammunition out of sight and out of reach of children. Keep guns in a locked box with a trigger lock engaged. Finally, keep the keys to guns, ammunition, and trigger locks hidden and away from regularly used keys. In addition to these safety tips for your home, it is a good idea to take a first aid or CPR class so you can be prepared in the event of an emergency. Also, be sure to program emergency numbers like the poison control hotline into your cell phone or post them next to your house phone. You may also want to have handy the non-emergency phone number for your local police department for situations that are not urgent but should be reported for help. Unintentional injuries or accidents cannot always be prevented, but by being proactive about safety in your own home, you can avoid many injuries and keep yourself and your family safe.